Being in tune is important for music because human ears can hear very small changes in pitch or frequency. You can prove this for yourself. Here's how. Here's how. Pour some water into two identical glasses. Use a spoon to tap each glass and compare the pitches. Add water to lower the pitch of the glass that sounds higher. A little at a time. Repeat this process until both glasses are in tune or play the same pitch. As the frequencies get closer to each other, hearing the differences gets more difficult. But you can still hear, because your ears are very sensitive. We made um, instruments out of cycled materials. My instrument is made out of plastic, metal, and glass. My instrument is made out of tape. Chip bottle. Coffee. And tape. In a
It's no level 3 to add double. Big double. Rebecca Taxman and I'm with Chess NYC and I'm going to talk to you today about the three principles to opening strategy. So when we get to the game we're always like, Ugh, what do I do? There's so many pieces. I don't know how to start. Well I'm going to give you three steps that are going to help you create a strong confident opening. First thing that we need to understand is these four center squares. These are considered our super squares because this is where the center of the board is, the control center. For example, if I have my knight in the center of the board, my knight can control up to eight different squares. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can see that this is a very strong place for my knight. If I have my knight on the side of the board, it can only control up to four squares. One, two, three, four. Therefore, my knight is stronger in the center whereas most pieces are stronger in the center of the board. So at the beginning of the game, we want to think about center control. First thing we can do is try and get our pawns into the center. Very important to try and get our pawns to control the center. The next important step that we want to focus on is piece development. Now, I like to think about my pieces as they are working for me. I want to give my pieces a job. If they're sitting back here, they're not happy and they're not doing anything. So my next step is to bring my pieces out and have them working for me. Usually we bring up the knights before the bishops. So I can bring my knight to f3 and my other knight to c3 and then I'm bringing them towards the center. Notice how I did not bring my knight to h3. That would not be a good choice. Towards the center. Next I want to bring my bishops out. Again towards the center controlling the center squares. The next step that we always want to consider is king safety. Very important. I like to consider the king like a baby. The reason I consider the king a baby is because we always want to protect our babies, just like we always want to protect our king. Therefore, the best way to protect our king in the beginning of the game is to castle. Now we have two places, two ways that we can castle. We can either castle on the king side or on the queen side. Right away, I can see that I can castle on the king side. To castle, I move my king two spaces and then bring my rook to the other side. And now my king is stuck behind a little fortress or to keep with the theme of a baby, a crib, and it is protected and safe. Just to review, the three important principles are controlling the center, peace development, and king safety. Those are the three things that we can do at the beginning of the game to go into the middle game confidently. 